I'm Terry Siani with High Prairie Life. I live on the High Prairie in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota and I love to cook. I've been teaching for years but there's always a trick in cooking. Today I'm going to teach you the tricks on cooking mushrooms. A mushroom is really a little baby sponge and what happens if you go ahead and try to rinse this in a colander of water or under the sink what you're going to do is fill this with water that's not what you want. You want to fill it with flavor. And your flavor is going to come from butter, from olive oil, from the spices and seasonings, parsley and garlic, whatever it is you're going to use, that's what you want to be filling up with your mushroom. What I do is I get a clean, damp cloth and I just wipe the mushroom. And you can tell what a beautiful, fresh mushroom because I barely need to even do anything to it. Now, if I had an older mushroom, you know how sometimes you've been busy all week, been meaning to use those mushrooms, but they're starting to get a little wrinkled or they're starting to get a little brown. In order to still save those, you'd obviously, if they're slimy, chuck them. They're no good. But if they just are starting to look a little past their prime, normally what I'll do is I will pop out the stem, which I can use later, soups, whatever I want to do. And then I'll take my knife and there's a little, little bit of a loose membrane on the bottom of the mushroom and it peels right off and all of a sudden your mushroom looks all beautiful and white again and you haven't wasted your mushrooms and they're still going to taste marvelous just like you bought them and they won't go to waste. Now when I cook them I like to put some butter in the pan or again I'll do olive oil or sometimes I'll even do a little bit of both and I'm going to heat this up and I want I love a cast iron skillet. When I cook I will look when I'm at garage sales or auctions, if I see a beautiful old Griswold la, um, cast iron pot, and even if it has some rust in it, it isn't hard to re-season it, but boy, that old cast iron, it's some of my favorite, and it just gives you even heat and gives you a beautiful caramelization on your mushrooms. So I'm going to turn this up to about a medium heat. I'm going to let that melt for a minute, and then I'm going to start cutting and prepping some mushrooms and I'm going to show you how to get that gorgeous caramelization on your mushrooms. A lot of times people cook them and because you're rinsing them in water what happens is you really end up steaming them so they just kind of stay white and don't have that beautiful uh, golden caramely buttery look to it. So I'm just going to do a few to show you and pretty much you got to stop turning them too much. What you want to do is put them on that beautiful pan of butter or olive oil and you want to just leave them alone for about three or four minutes. Use your tongs, turn one over. If it has that beautiful brown buttery look to it, then you know it's fine to turn the rest over. And I'm just going to cut these in half today so that the flat part of the mushroom is what I'm going to put down first. And then I'm just going to lay the flat parts of the mushrooms right in the butter and it's going to get all rich and buttery and goldy. And you don't want to season with salt right off the bat. It's going to make your mushrooms tough. You want to go ahead, season that towards the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these right down flat. And I'm not going to add any seasoning to it at all right this minute. I'm going to go ahead and just let these sit in this butter for about, like I said, three or four minutes. And then we'll see how gorgeous they are when we get ready to turn them over. So it's been about three minutes. And if you look at the mushrooms, see how they just have that buttery, kind of brown, golden caramelization on them. They just look wonderful. And they're going to be so packed with flavor when you go ahead and finish cooking these and add them to whatever it is that you're going to be eating. And now is when I will go ahead and I'll throw a little bit of just kosher salt. Don't overdo it. And then a little bit of pepper. And I'm just going to let those finish for about three more minutes. And then we'll take a bite and see how delicious they taste. The mushrooms are ready. And if you can take a look at how nice they look, you can see the beautiful caramelization on those mushrooms. Now when you eat your mushroom with whatever you go ahead and serve it with, they're going to be full of flavor and a wonderful caramelization and crustiness on the mushroom itself. So I'll take these out and I'll take a little bite. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth because they certainly are beautifully hot. Mm. 
wonderful texture. You have a little bit of a crispiness from the butter. Just a little hint of salt to bring the flavor to the mushroom, but they're nice and tender on the inside. I hope you give it a try. They're wonderful.